everybody. Welcome to uh, the newest episode of Tim's Toy Box. I got three boxes here and they got some toys in them. So we're gonna check it out. Um, these two boxes I got off eBay. This one I got off of uh, Goodwill Auctions. Let's see what it is. As you may know from my last video, I do collect the uh, Secret Wars Marvel line, but I also already have been collecting the Toy Biz Marvel line. Hey kid, think you're an X-Man? This is the place to prove it. Which is uh, one of my favorite lines as well. And here we have a very nicely packaged lot of uh, Toy Biz X-Men figures. So we'll just check out uh, who and what we have real quick. Got a nice saber tooth figure here. Looking good. The paint on these figures is uh, very solid. It's one of the things I like about it. So many people bought this line that uh, you can find just great figures. This is a really dope figure. I really like this figure. I believe this is the Old West Ghost Rider figure. Um, this is from the Marvel Toy Biz line and it, it's a great looking figure. It's got this translucent look to it and uh, looks like maybe he was uh, some kind of shooting action or something. I don't know, but uh, I like this. I like this uh, the look to this figure. This was uh, one of my favorite lines that uh, I collected as a kid growing up. The Toy Biz X-Men slash Marvel line. It mostly started out as almost completely X-Men, but they started adding more Marvel characters by the end of the line. Introducing Marvel, talking superheroes and X-Men. This is my... And it sounds too! Um, this is Cruel. Um, and, uh, he was just a standard henchman type bad guy. Uh, nice looking character. He's missing his accessories. Uh, this lot didn't come with any accessories, but the characters and the uh, action figures are all in great shape in this lot. Here's, um, I believe an external is what they were called. This guy's name is Gideon. Um, he has this sword swinging action. He came with a sword and a briefcase, if I remember correctly. One of, in my opinion, the best looking and uh, most underused X-Men henchmen. This guy was from the Savage Land. His name was Forearm. Um, as you can tell, he has four arms. Uh, this was actually pre-Goro too, so Marvel beat him to the punch. 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 Four times. I had no idea who this figure was, but as my producer Steve informed me, he is... G.W. Bridge. G.W. Bridge. It's X-Force, right? What's that? It's X-Force? Um, I had no idea. Uh, so we were going to have to look it up, but uh, sometimes I am out-nerded on my own show. This guy we may have to look up too. I believe he is Adam X Extreme. As you can tell, he's got these. It's just a terrible, way too 90s uh, comic book character. Um, but uh, I think this is him. He doesn't have his trademark backwards turned hat showing that he was super hip and probably too cool for you. Um, but uh, anyway, I think that's who this is, but we're gonna look it up, I'm pretty sure. One of the best figures of the line. Unfortunately, this guy does have some problems. Um, as you can see, the tubes that uh, go into his arm have actually snapped off. Sabertooth and Apocalypse are breaking in. What do you do? So, uh, may not be able to get him back in there. I don't know how to get that out. Those are those tabs and they're very tight. But uh, he does still have his uh, action where he uh, gets taller. What about Apocalypse? The bad laser. What? Um, and this looks like to be the, the figure that has the most problems from this line. Uh, his back has a lot of paint wear. Uh, luckily, I already have an Apocalypse, but as you can see, he also has uh, some paint wear on his face. But still a good looking figure. Um, I wish that the tabs weren't broken on uh, the tubes, but that's life in the streets. Ah, one of my favorite uh, X-Men villains. Um, this is actually one of the regrets I have about uh, the Deadpool movie, is that uh, they toyed with uh, Nathaniel Essex coming into the uh, picture in the form of Mr. Sinister, but uh, he did not make an appearance. But Mr. Sinister, one of the best X-Men villains, he's actually the uh, the understudy of Apocalypse. And Mr. Sinister with his white-up chest, these aren't ordinary men, they're... X-Men! 
the last guy we just saw. So great villain, um, very excited. Uh, I actually already have this character and as you can see he does have a little bit of paint wear on there too. We got two Magneto figures. I believe this one is a little bit newer and I'm not sure exactly what line it's from. Um, this one is the Toy Biz line, but uh, always excited to add the Master of Magnetism. As Juggernaut harnesses his battering ram, Magneto reveals his magnetic force. Uh, to the old stable. And last but not least for my uh, Marvel Toy Biz is this great Deadpool figure. Paint looks great. Um, still got the little knife action there. No accessories, but uh, I believe this is the first Deadpool figure as, you know, the character only came about in the mid-90s. Alright, this was a uh, auction from Goodwill that I purchased. Um, only for $13 and I was really excited to get it. Mainly because of this figure right here is why I bought this Goodwill lot and I only spent $13 on it and I got this beautiful 1991 Undertaker figure. Um, the spring action is still very tight. Um, some very minor issues on this figure, but the paint looks great. All right, uh, in this lot we have uh, a really nice mixed lot here. Um, I believe this guy is Sergeant Fox. Don't uh, quote me on that last name. Um, from the uh, Robocop line. Um, and he came with his little helmet, so that's pretty cool. Still got the uh, blast cap thing in the back there. And of course, Here's a nice one. This is uh, the original RoboCop uh, figure with his gun, uh, which is uh, always nice to have. Your move, creep. Uh, this figure does have some paint wear and stuff like that. I mean, kids would play the crap out of these uh, RoboCop uh, figures. Not a bad looking figure though, and uh, Missing his helmet, but you know, we can work around that. Next we have uh, a couple of video uh, videos ago, if you don't remember, I uh, showed off my Stinkor that I got from the uh, Pathway and Roseville. And uh, here is uh, his, his number one nemesis, one of the good guys, Mossman. Uh, the only problem with Mossman I have going here is it looks like somebody burned him a little bit. This Moss Man has Mange, so we're dealing with Mange Man over here. Um, he does have his club, so that's always nice. Um, and I believe I have the mini comic that Moss Man came with, so that gives me a complete figure here. Uh, not bad looking, the, uh, the burn stuff actually I think gives him a little character. And uh, like I said, I'm collecting the cops line now, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is uh, like a fireman version, so he was some kind of... Uh, yeah, it came with this gigantic axe. I mean, this thing is the size of the figure. Um, so I'm really happy to add this figure. One of my favorite lines, and I just wish I would have collected him when I was a kid. Cops and crooks, vehicles and figures sold separately. Last but not least, we have this huge Thundercat uh, figure. I believe this is one of the bad guys. Um, and I can't think of his name. It's like... Uh, Starts with a K, I believe, but I'm not entirely sure. It might be Gnarl, which is a G actually, or uh, something like that. We'll figure it out. But uh, his uh, his action still works, and he does have a couple of blemishes and stuff. But the paint looks great, and he's going to display really well. So that's it for this most recent episode of Tim's Toy Box. I hope you enjoyed uh, all the toys that I had to show you, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.